If you could, please tell me your name, spell your last name, and your position. John Liscum, L-I-S-C-U-M, uh, Captain, San Diego Fire Rescue Department. Thank you, sir. What happened this morning? Uh, we had a small kitchen fire over here in, in uh, unit number 78. Uh, I kind of extended through a couple cabinets, uh, but we had a quick response, got on scene relatively quickly, and uh, firefighters did what they do, got out quick, and, and got it out. And how many folks will be displaced, sir? I believe three to four adults. Total. Okay. And uh, how bad's the damage? Moderate damage, uh, mostly to the kitchen uh, and mostly due to, to smoke damage throughout the rest of the residence. They're not going to be able to live there for, I would imagine, a, a couple weeks until uh, it gets cleaned up. Will the Red Cross be called? Yes, I'm going to call Red Cross for uh, three to four adults. And any injuries, sir? One injury, uh, uh, one of the uh, individuals who made an attempt to put out the fire, I believe, cut himself in an effort to, to put out the fire, but that is it. Now, mobile homes, trailers, they're, they're infamous for going up quick. Can you talk about the dangers? Correct. Uh, just the way that they're built, um, they, they do go up relatively quickly. Uh, so one of our concerns is we get here, as soon as we get here, we want to get um, water on the fire as quickly as possible, as safely as we can possibly be. Uh, we don't have the ability to go onto the roofs of, of these types of places, so we can cut a hole to let that smoke and heat out. Um, but just by, by, the, by the sheer construction that they are, uh, they do fire spreads extremely quickly throughout these, uh, these mobile homes and can be really dangerous. So a completely different strategy for fighting the fire. Yes, we want to make sure we get here, obviously like every fire we do, as quickly and safely as we can, but we want to make sure that we get water on these fires as quickly as possible. Uh, the way that, that that the fire grows, especially in units like these, uh, it's just it's very uh, ex exponential and it grows extremely quick. So we want to make sure we, we get some cooling measures in place as quickly as possible. It's going to make things safer, not only for the residents, if there is anybody inside, but for our crews as well. Sir, thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much. Yeah.